okay now let's go over some basic elementary MATLAB function built-in functions okay so you can get a list of built-in elementary functions by typing in el help el function okay so this is a list of basic elementary functions okay I'll go over some okay so I'll go over this uh, fix function first okay it says round towards zero you can get a better description by searching okay I'll go math okay. says round two so fix functions round each element x to nearest integer towards zero okay so it comes to closest integer towards zero okay so for example if I go okay we will clear screen so I'm going over this rounding and remainder functions first because they can be a little confusing. Okay. So I do fix 3.4. Okay. It's round towards 3. Okay. It, it's kind of removes the decimal part and round towards the closest integer towards 0 okay that means by that we mean if we think of number line and we have 0 we have 3 and 3.4 okay so the closest integer for 3.4 is 3 towards 0 okay 3 is the integer closest to 3.4 in the side of 0 okay so it's round off to 3 even we have something like 3.6 it will round off to 3 okay because for example fix six it will round off to three okay because three is the so because it's round towards zero three point six if we go towards zero three is the closest integer to three point six if we go toward zero no so we are not using four here so you can think of as you are just re removing the decimal part okay and if we check for a negative number three point four negative so you still get negative three okay so it's like removing a decimal part and just keeping the integer part okay so if we mark here negative 3 is here negative 3.4 is here so if you go towards 0 negative 3 is the closest integer if we are going towards 0 okay so it's rounded toward 0 next we will again do next is the four round towards minus infinity okay so if we look at flow function okay round towards minus infinity okay so with the flow function 
we look at some examples okay flow 3.4 produce test 3 3.6 still is produced 3 okay because 3 is the closest integer if you go towards minus infinity for these two numbers okay so again if we are in the number line this side is minus infinity so if you have 3.4 if you go towards infinity first integer you heard is 3 no for both 3 and 3.6 okay so you are round we are rounding towards minus infinity so this 3.4 and 3.6 get rounded to 3 okay but what is interesting is if we use a negative value so here negative 3.4 will get rounded up to negative 4 rounded to negative 4 okay not up to actually it will get rounded to negative 4 the reason is if we have negative 3.6 here negative 4 is here no so if we round towards negative infinity negative 4 is the closest uh, integer for negative 3.6 okay therefore we round it to negative 4 okay other way to think about it rounds down to the closest integer okay so negative 4 is less than negative 3.4 no? okay So can you think what it will round? What is the answer for? Negative 5.4 Okay It goes to negative 6, no? also these functions return this value so if we want we can store it in a variable okay so for example i can go t equals flow four okay so then we can store the value negative 6 in t okay so most functions return a value and i can store that value inside the variable like this okay next go into the next function in the list still round towards positive infinity okay so that is similar okay it's round towards positive infinity cell okay so if we go here Five point four will get rounded to six. Uh, sorry, give me a minute. So I see.
5.4 will go to 6 no and negative 5.4 will go to negative 5 okay because again if you think of number line now we are rounding towards infinity okay so if we think of number line again we have negative 5.4 here and negative 5 point here so we are so rounding toward positive infinity now so if i think negative 5.4 closest integer in the side of positive infinity is negative 5 so it will get rounded to negative 5 here it i think 5.4 closest integer in the side of negative infinity is 6 no so the 5.4 will get rounded to 6 negative 5.4 will get rounded to negative 5 next one it's round it's now towards nearest integer okay so let's again look at a example now it will round to the nearest integer okay so if I go round 5.4 now 5 is the nearest integer for 5.4 now it will get rounded to 5 round point six it get rounded to six okay there are more to discuss about the round function okay so if we go here do a math works round you can come to the help page here Okay, here we can see we just pass round x with a one argument. Okay, but we can also pass two arguments to the round function. Okay, so if we pass zero here for second argument, it's behave as just as passing one argument it's round to the nearest integer okay so for example round 5.6 0 will round to the nearest integer 6 okay this is same as we pass round 5.6 one argument case but if we pass a positive number for this n if we pass a positive number round n digits to the right of the decimal point okay so for example again if we do round 9 2 it will round up to 2 decimal places so we will get 5.68 no ok so it round up to 2 decimal 
cases okay 5.68 so this 9 is round up because 8 is close to 7 9 okay now what interested is if we pass a negative number it's if we pass a negative number here or n if we pass a negative number round angel is left to the decimal point okay so again if we look at example if i do round it will round up to 570 okay 10 power and if I do the same thing with 2 it will round up to nearest 100 okay 600 570 nearest 100 it's 600 and if we pass a 3 it will round for nearest thousand no so five seventy is close to thousand but if I use four seventy here with nearest thousand you will get zero okay now let's go on to again list of our elementary functions okay this time we will look at this modulus here and the remainder function this modulus says signs remainder after division remainder after division okay actually the these both returns the remainder okay so what you get but that remainder depend on how you calculate the quotient okay so to unders to get a better idea let's go into this help okay i will do math words first we'll look into the mod function okay so we'll have look for math works on remainder after division okay so here to calculate this quotient it use the flow function okay that is it use okay give me a minute so to calculate it uses the flow function okay so this is same as flow a divided by n okay flow a divided by n okay so for example let's clear clean first if i do mod of 5 divided by 3 okay i will get 2 okay this is not that of a surprise but if we look from this formula what is the quotient if i divide 5 by 3 so flow of 5 divided by 3 no of 5 divided by 3 okay 
so if I divide 5 by 3 let's use MATLAB for the division okay I'll divide 5 by 3 you get 1.667 no so the flow of this you round to the towards flow of 1.667 here we round towards negative infinity so the rounding of here is 1 no so the quotient is 1 okay you will see why I'm why I am explaining like this when you see the next example so the remainder is R is A A is 5 no what my dividend times n is the divisor that is 3 and my quotient is 1 this is the quotient q no this guy is q so that is 1 so 5 times five, 3 times 1 is 3 5 minus this is 2 okay this is where we got 2 okay now let's look at another example Less negative 5 divided by 3 okay here you get 1 okay so if you want to get a better understanding of how we got this one again we can go here and try the it manually so according to the form first I have to calculate the quotient no so to calculate the quotient I do flow of this time negative 5 divided by 3 here I get flow of negative 1.667 but I'm rounding towards negative infinity so therefore I get negative 2 as my quotient this time because I'm rounding towards negative infinity if you want you can check with flow value of MATLAB okay so now if I calculate the remainder R I get what now my A is negative 5 minus N is 3 times the remainder is negative 2 no sorry the quotient is negative 2 so negative 5 plus 6 which is 1 so this time remainder is 1 this is why I got 1 okay as my remainder and if I do mod 5 negative 3 I get negative 1 as remainder okay you can try it with this formula and you can again explain why you get negative 1 okay next function is in the list is the remainder function remainder function is similar to mod function but in it uses fix
tricks to calculate the quotient okay so here it's use fix to calculate the quotient we already studied the fixed function okay so here instead of flow it will use fixed function to calculate the quotient okay so if I use the of 5 divided by 3 sorry 5 divided by 3 I have to use the comma I get 2 okay and you can explain it using like before but using the fixed function to get the remainder if I divide negative 5 using 3 I get negative 2 and if I divide 5 by negative 3 I get 2 as the remainder okay so here each situation to calculate the quotient you use the fixed function and then to get the remo remainder it uses uh, this formula to get the remainder okay so we already covered the fixed function and also we saw example how to calculate remainder in the case of flow so you can buy try yourself and explain these outputs manually okay so you can do a calculation by yourself and check the outputs next function is in the list is the remainder function remainder function is similar to mod function but in it uses fix fix to calculate the quotient okay so here it's use fix to calculate the quotient we already studied the fixed function okay so here instead of flow it will use fix function to calculate the quotient okay so three if i use the of 5 divided by 3 sorry 5 divided by 3 I have to use the comma I get 2 okay and you can explain it using like before but using the fixed function to get the remainder if I divide negative 5 using 3 I get negative 2 and if I divide 5 by negative 3 I get 2 as the remainder okay so here each situation to calculate the quotient you use the fixed function and then to get the remo remainder it uses uh, this formula to get the remainder okay so we already covered the fixed function and also we saw example how to calculate remainder in the case of flow so you can buy try yourself and explain these outputs manually okay so you can do a calculation by yourself and check the outputs if you apply function to a vector or a matrix matrix most of the case function will apply the to each individual element and will return output as a matrix or as a vector 
for example if you look at that absolute value function we know it returns a positive value so if we pass it to a vector if we pass a vector into a like two three two one it will return apply the absolute take the absolute value of each individual individual element and return the answer as a vector similar thing happen if we apply it to a matrix okay for example let's say a is equal to two negative two and negative three okay and if we do absolute value of a it will apply the absolute value function to each individual element and it will return a matrix